Welcome to Mars Saga, your gateway to the Red Planet. Subscribe now and join the journey. Welcome to Mars Saga. In this episode, we continue our exploration of the Red Planet by focusing on the hidden structures, ancient formations, and long-term processes that shaped the Martian world. This documentary follows the landscape from the surface level down into the buried layers that hold records of water, wind, volcanic activity, and geological change spread across billions of years. Mars presents itself as a planet that once carried more energy, more motion, and more potential than what we see today. Each region carries its own history, written through dust, rock, ice, and fractured terrain. We begin with the oldest crustal blocks of Mars, the ancient highlands. These regions contain heavily cratered surfaces that formed when the solar system was still young. The density of craters across these highlands reveals long exposure to impacts, suggesting that much of the Martian crust in these zones has remained unchanged for billions of years. These terrains act as time capsules, preserving the earliest conditions of the planet. Scientists map these scars to measure the age of the landscape and to locate regions where internal heat once pushed through the crust, forming valleys and basins. Further north, the surface shifts into smoother plains shaped by volcanic activity. The massive Tharsis region rises here, holding some of the tallest volcanoes in the solar system. These structures formed from repeated eruptions that layered lava over the same points for millions of years. Their slopes extend across vast distances, suggesting slow but persistent activity. Even though these volcanoes show no current eruptions, their preserved forms record how powerful Martian volcanism once was. The thin atmosphere allows these shapes to remain sharp and well-defined, rarely altered by erosion. East of Tharsis lies Vallis Marineris, one of the largest canyon systems known. This canyon extends for thousands of kilometers and reaches deep into the crust. Its walls reveal long sequences of layered rock, providing clues about ancient environmental transitions. Some layers show signs of past water flow, while others display deposits left by dry winds. The canyon likely formed through a combination of crustal stretching, collapse, and erosion. Its scale demonstrates the forces that acted within Mars during periods of internal movement. Shifting toward the polar regions, the surface becomes dominated by ice. The Martian poles store water ice and carbon dioxide ice in layered deposits. These layers accumulate and retreat depending on long-term climate cycles, driven by shifts in Mars's tilt and orbit. Within these ice caps, researchers see repeating bands formed over hundreds of thousands of years. Each band marks a change in temperature, seasonal patterns, and atmospheric pressure. These records help reconstruct the climate history of the planet. Moving back to the mid-latitudes, we encounter regions shaped by ancient glaciers. Although Mars no longer supports large active glaciers on the surface, evidence shows that ice once moved across these zones. Many landforms here have patterns similar to glacial deposits found on Earth. These shapes include ridges formed by frozen material, channels carved by sliding ice, and debris piles marking the retreat of ancient glacial masses. These features indicate that Mars once experienced colder climates where ice played a major role in shaping the terrain. Closer to the equator, we see dried river networks that stretch across valleys and crater rims. Their branching shapes resemble river systems on Earth. These channels indicate that liquid water once flowed for extended periods. Some valleys appear wide and deep, suggesting strong water movement, while others display narrow paths carved by smaller streams. Sediment buildup in certain craters hints at ancient lake beds where water once pooled. Even though these lakes have long evaporated or frozen, the marks they left behind help map the hydrological cycles that once operated on Mars. The surface also contains deposits known as recurring slopes, streak-like features that appear on steep surfaces and fade with time. Their exact nature is still under study, 
but their behavior shows that Mars may still experience small-scale surface changes tied to seasonal heating. Dust plays a major role in shaping the modern appearance of Mars. Winds move fine particles across wide distances, covering older surfaces with new layers. Dust storms sometimes grow large enough to cover the entire planet, limiting sunlight and reducing temperature changes. These storms redistribute materials, smooth out landscapes, and sometimes reveal buried features when winds clear away surface coatings. Over long periods, dust accumulation builds soft layers on top of older rock, creating subtle transitions across plains and slopes. Beneath the surface, radar observations reveal ancient ice deposits, buried channels, and subsurface boundaries that indicate earlier climates. Some underground formations look like remnants of old glaciers, preserved under layers of dust and soil. Others resemble frozen reservoirs of water ice that remain stable due to the cold environment. These hidden structures may hold some of the most important records of Mars's past. Craters across the planet vary in size and preservation. Some appear fresh and sharp, created by recent impacts. Others are eroded, filled with sediments, or reshaped by ancient water. Studying these craters helps determine timelines for other features. Larger impact basins also reveal information about the interior of Mars. Seismic readings from lander missions show how shock waves travel through the planet, helping map internal layers such as the mantle and core. These data help understand the thermal history of Mars and the processes that shaped its outer shell. Robotic missions continue to observe these regions, collecting samples and analyzing surface chemistry. Through these findings, scientists piece together the timeline of volcanic activity, water history, atmospheric loss, and surface evolution. Each mission adds additional detail, refining our understanding of how Mars changed from a more active early world to the colder, drier planet we see now. This episode of Mars Saga concludes with a broader view of the planet. The surface of Mars is a mixture of preserved ancient landscapes and slowly evolving modern environments. Every feature, from the tallest volcanic peaks to the smallest grains of dust, contributes to the long story of a planet shaped by time, impact, heat, and climate cycles. As exploration continues, new layers of information will reveal further details about how Mars once supported water on its surface and how these conditions transformed into the environment we study today. Thank you for watching. This was Mars Saga.